Hey, if you're having a hard time making short and medium length putts on the course under pressure, then stay tuned because I've got a fantastic game for you to practice putting yourself under a little pressure and it scales to such a challenging level that although I've known this game for almost 40 years now, I still haven't beaten it. That's how challenging it scales to. You're really going to like it. Stay tuned. Hey, this is Steve with HitItLonger.com. Well, I continue my mission to hit the ball beautifully from tee to green. There's nothing more frustrating than doing so and then getting up and missing lots of makeable putts and not cashing in on all those awesome drives you've been hitting. So today I want to show you one of my favorite games that I actually learned. Someone taught this to me as a child and even nearly 40 years later, it is still yielding value in terms of simulating pressure for short and medium length putts. All right, here are the rules. You take three golf balls is what you need. You might make use a couple of tees. Here I've got them marked off at two, four, and six feet. The game continues on indefinitely if you can make it that far, but we start the game at one foot. Here's how the scoring goes. You start at even par, three makes is a birdie, two makes is a par, one make is a bogey, and if you miss all three, you make a double bogey. Now, here's the caveat. You start at even par, and just like pinball, your game is over when you fall one or more over par. So as long as you're even par or under par, you get to continue the game further and further back one foot at a time. Let's give it a try. So you might call station number one the one foot putt, kind of the free spot on your bingo card, as long as you don't lose massive concentration. You should be able to make a birdie. All right, now I take my birdie, my one under par net score, to the second hole. And I'm again trying to make all three is a birdie. All right, so if you're doing pretty good, you should have a two under start. So now we're at three feet, two under par, of course, Every hole we move back another foot and it gets harder and harder to make a birdie. And there's another birdie to go to three under par. All right, let's fast forward. I've arrived at the eighth hole. I'm now four under par, but now it starts to become harder and harder and harder. In fact, making pars now starts to become pretty challenging. That's two out of three makes. Let's see how it goes. And now for par. Ah, just slipped away. So that nets me a bogey. That would drop me to three under par after eight holes. And I'd continue to move out, move out until I am no longer able to sustain a score even par or better. So you can see how the game just continues to get more and more challenging and it's endlessly scalable. Now you've officially won the game when you've made it past 18 holes with a score of even par or better. Then you can absolutely call yourself a putting master. Now if you can just make it to the back nine, if you can get past the ninth hole to the 10th tee, even if you fail on hole number 10, you're a really good putter. You're pretty much close to a scratch handicap putter if you can make it onto the back nine. All right, I'm gonna continue with my game starting on the ninth hole. But uh, my best score of all time in 40 years doing this is I made it to the 14th hole. I think that's a pretty good score, but I'd love to see you try this and take this challenge and see if you can beat my all-time best score and maybe with some practice even win the game through 18 holes. 
hey, I'm Steve. Thanks so much for watching. And as usual, hey, I'll either see you in the next video or I'll see you longer and straighter down the fairway and sinking more putts. Everybody take good care.